Good morning, loved ones, on this Saturday, as we have a video devotional on a hymn history. Elisha Hoffman was a pastor in Lebanon, Pennsylvania. Perhaps some of you have been there. And in his pastorate, in the ministry, there was an older lady in the congregation who seemed to always have difficulties. Perhaps you know the kind. Everything seemed to be bad. There was always a crisis, always a difficulty. And he, as a good pastor, would very patiently deal with her and read with her and give her verses of encouragement and pray for her. Well, there was a particular time in which he was at the office and got the phone call, you have to come right away. This is the worst thing. I don't know what I'm going to do. And so he got up and went over. And when he got there, she opened the door in just almost hysteria and sat down and told him everything with crying times in between. And she said at the end of her story, Oh, pastor, what, what'll I do? What'll I do? And he very patiently gave her some verses on assurance and trust and confidence she can have in the Lord. And he said to her, You see, dear sister, what you have to do, you, you can't bear all of these things on your own. You have to tell Jesus and trust Jesus. He's the one that can bear them. And she looked staringly and took it in and said, that, that's right. I, I must tell Jesus. I, I must tell Jesus. And so they went to prayer right then. Both of them prayed. But that phrase, I must tell Jesus, stuck in his mind. A number of you already know the hymn, right? So he went back to his office, and the words came immediately as he sat down. And they are these. I must tell Jesus all of my trials. The trials of a coronavirus pandemic. The trials of what we face with family who have a different political viewpoint or different position on the coronavirus than we do the trials that we face as a country concerning the racism or human rights wars as our country tears itself apart, the trials financially that it takes us, what are you going to do about them? Loved ones, here is what we must do. Cast your burden upon the Lord and he will sustain you. What must you do? You must tell Jesus all of your trials. You can't bear these burdens alone. You can't bear them. You were never, ever created to be able to bear the burdens of life on your own. God designed the universe that humans can't bear these burdens on our own. He created Adam and Eve that way. And we must go to him. In my distress, here's a promise. He kindly will help me. Do you believe that he will? When he said in Isaiah 41.10, I will help thee, he promised it. Why not claim that verse to him in prayer today? He ever loves and cares for his own. I must tell Jesus all of my troubles. He's a kind, compassionate friend. If I ask him, he will deliver and make of my troubles quickly an end. Yes, and sometimes we sin. The world to evil allures us, and we're tempted to sin. If we tell Jesus, he'll help us to have the victory over the world. You cannot bear these burdens alone. Tell Jesus. Friends, why pray when you can worry? Or, why worry when you can pray? Tell Jesus. Jesus. But when you tell Jesus, remind yourself he's kind, compassionate, all-powerful, always good, and he's doing good things and going to bring good things out of this. Remind yourself who you're talking to. Praise him for these things. And it will seem, as you turn your eyes upon Jesus, to quote another hymn, It'll be amazing how the things of this earth will grow strangely dim in the light of his glory and grace. Tell 
Jesus. Father, I pray that you would help us and help me to be more prayer-oriented and walking with you throughout every day. Help us with all of our trials to tell you. May we cast our burden upon you, Lord, knowing you will sustain us. In your Son's name.